and welcome back to my channel. It's Tanya from The Holders and I'm here to do assignment number two for the virtual homeschool co-op. And the topic for this assignment is how do you deal with negative comments? I have not had many negative comments pertaining to homeschooling. However, I've had a, a few. As I think about the negative comments and how you would deal with them, first of all, I would have to determine why the person was making the comment. Because sometimes people are just curious Sometimes they are concerned because they love you. The people that love me and love my kids and have concern about me homeschooling and what's not, I can sit and I can have a chat with these people because they are coming from a heart of love. And I don't necessarily see it as a, a negative comment, but I see it as just concern and the next thing is that you have to decide whether this person is being malicious or they just want to put you down and the way I deal with that is I ignore it I might talk about it with my husband and um, we've prayed about our decision to homeschool and we know that this is what God wants us to do so I ignore it might some of the comments might bother me, I'm not going to lie, because that's just the type of person I am. But um, I'll ignore it and I'll put it behind me and I'll move on. And that's how I deal with it. It makes no sense. Um, for me, it makes no sense being worked up about what other people think because at the end of the day, their opinion is their opinion and they're going to believe what they believe and they're going to have the opinion that they want to have. Now, for the people that are concerned about you and that are coming from a place of love, they will hear you out and they will respect your decision, even if they still don't agree or what's not. They're, they're going to respect your decision. At least that's what I've found in, in, in my own personal way. The next question that... I would ask myself is, is the person curious? The person might just be curious about homeschooling. If they're curious about it, yes, I, I have no problem explaining um, why we homeschool or um, how homeschooling is benefiting our kids. You know, I can go into all of that if, if it's a... Uh, you know, if it's from curiosity and one of my friends asks or whatnot, I have absolutely no problem with that. And the other thing is, is that um, sometimes people are just coming from preconceived ideas. So, is it just a preconceived ideas? And because I've had preconceived ideas about homeschooling, especially when it comes to the kids being social. I did my research about homeschooling and the benefits of homeschooling, and I was sold. You know, my husband and I prayed about it, and yeah, we just we believe that this is what God wants for our family right now, as for the future. Where I don't know. I don't know if they'll go back to public school at some point in their lives. But for right now, I know that this is what God has for our family. And yeah, so back to the preconceived ideas. So I know like some, I know one of my, my family members, like my sister-in-law, she was concerned about um the kids being socialized and yeah they'd be like being she was worried about them being socially awkward and i can tell you like and it, it wasn't her she wasn't being negative she wasn't being down on me or anything she was just curious and she just had a preconceived idea because of what she heard or seen and so did i you know so questions like that doesn't really offend me it just gives me especially for the people that love love us and are coming out of a place of just curiosity just concern and just preconceived ideas you know i just shared my research with her and what i found now that i've experienced it for a whole year i have a little bit of experience in that 
I know that it have not I know that it has not damaged my kids socially. For example, my daughter, uh, my second daughter, she is a very shy girl. She's a very shy child. She has been that way since, um, I, I would say, I always tell people from the time she was in my womb, she would be, she was quiet. At night, she would only kick a few times to let me know she was still doing okay, you know? So, and then as a baby, I have some friends um, because we used to live in another province and we moved when she was two years old and they had never heard her say one word in person. I had to take videos to let them see that she actually talks and she actually interacts with us when she's at home. And okay, fast forward, she starts school and she never said a word at school. Maybe once she probably said, messy to one of the teachers and he wrote in her journal she speaks and he was so excited but other than that she never really spoke at school she hardly said anything i had a speech therapist from school calling me to find out if she spoke at home if she did okay i started homeschooling her and her confidence just blew out the roof like i remember getting her taking her at six to get her ears pierced and she was, the lady asked her her name and she said, Kaylee. Now, when she was going to school and you spoke to her and you asked her her name, she would never ever respond. Homeschooling, I started homeschooling her. She started responding when even strangers outside would, of course, like when I was with her and somebody like asked her her name, she would respond. She started her extracurricular activities like swimming and stuff she responded to the people this is the, this was a brand new Kelly so it, it showed me that the socialization that that um, we get so worried about I don't think it's personally that it's something that we need to worry about because um, yeah like I said the the confidence that the kids get from knowing that they can succeed they can um they, they they are comfortable in their learning environment they're learning at their pace and everything it just boosts their confidence and all of that for me personally i'm not a psychologist or anything but for me it just boosts their confidence it just boosts their their self-esteem and um apart from that they have their extra they do skating and um, they have their extracurricular activities they have Sunday school where they interact with other kids um, they interact with the neighbors that are around here you know they they, 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 they have never met them before but they made friends with them actually the very first day we moved in, in this place my daughter was making friends with the next door neighbor um, you know it's not affecting them negatively at all if anything it's it's building their confidence and i'm very very proud of where the kids are at so that's how i respond to negative comments and thank you so much for watching please if you enjoy this if you enjoy this video please like it comment and subscribe Bye guys, see you in our next video. They have a coat to keep him clean. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Keep his wool nice and white. Right, Yummy? Right, Yummy?